All right, I wanted to make a quick video and show this uh, cargo trailer that I've converted into a camper or a tiny home or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm trying to make this video one to to show my ideas. Uh, you know, I know I use a lot of people's ideas from watching other YouTube videos, so I kind of wanted to, you know, give back a little bit and uh, put this up on online. And then also, I'm going to be putting this up for sale, so I wanted to show it for that reason as well. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. This thing is, is all solar powered. I wanted to build something that was off-grid capable where you wouldn't have to rely on on a generator or plug-ins of any type. So you got your panels up there. All right, so let's take a look inside. Oh, before I forget, I know people are gonna want, the, want to know this. This I think this thing probably weighs about 2,000 pounds. Um, it tows, it tows with the V6. I have a, a Tacoma and it, it tows pretty well with that. Uh, so you don't need a V8 to tow this thing. Um, but moving on, let's go over the electrical system first. So you have everything sto stored down here for the electrical system. You have an AGM battery. You have a 700 watt inverter. You have your bus bars to make your connections. And then this is an on off switch. You can turn the entire system off. You know, say you're going to store this and not use it for a couple months. You can just turn everything off. Um, you got your power outlet for your AC power. And you got a light switch here for three LED lighting. Um, as much stuff as possible, I, I ran with DC power. So the lights are DC. This vent fan right here is DC. Um, this thing is, is nice. It can, spin, it can spin both ways. So you can use it as an exhaust fan like when you're cooking. Um, or you can have air coming in. And you can get a, a, a good cross breeze with, uh, with this window too. Um, the, the, the electric pump for the sink, that also runs off DC power. This is a switch to be able to cut power to the pump when you're storing it or when you're trailering it. That's the pump right up there. You have two containers combined, it's 12 gallons worth of, uh, worth of water. And then this is your waste container. So when this fills up, you just take it out and, and dump it out into whatever disposal you need to. Um, over here, you have a cooktop. This runs off of propane. This is a pretty nice cooktop. It gets pretty hot. It boils water very quickly. Underneath is storage. And that's the propane line right there. That actually runs all the way up along the frame of the trailer up to the tongue. So you can keep the tank outside of, of the trailer. Um, the cabinets are, are made out of mostly pine. Um, the top here is a butcher block piece of oak, solid oak wood. Um, oh, I don't think I mentioned this. This is the, the solar controller. So you can see how much amps you're bringing in, what your uh, current battery level is, and then what your current voltage is. And then you have USB charging ports here. There's two under here, and then this is a 12 volt uh, plug. Um, Let's see, so the basic construction of this thing, you can see it's, I use pine paneling on the walls and on the ceiling, and there's one by fours that are, that, that are going, you know, horizontally um, behind, behind the pine paneling to act as, you know, support. And also, we had needed something to, to be able to use a nail gun and nail this paneling too. Um, and I, I'll roll some, some pictures in. I have some pictures of the build process so you can kind of get a better idea of how this thing was put together. And there is insulation on the walls and the ceiling. The floors are, are vinyl floors. I went with vinyl because it's, it's durable and it's mainly because it's waterproof. It's not gonna absorb any water. So if you spill something in here or if you get in here with muddy feet when you're camping, it's gonna be easy to clean and you don't really have to worry about it. Um, the shower. The shower is, uh, you, you can see that there's no, there's no permanent shower fixture in here. And I held off on doing that because I just, for my purposes, you know, doing weekend camping trips, I didn't really need it. Um, so I use this, I use this little portable um, unit. You basically, you take that plug, you plug it in over there, and then you get a bucket of water, 
let it heat up out in the sun for a little while and this is a submersible pump you drop that in there and then you have your little shower head and it's got a drain that drains over to the side of the trailer out of a PVC pipe but I did want to leave the the possibility to add in a permanent fixture in the future so I don't know if you can really see this but the front of this trailer is sort of a curved shape so we had to build a wall right here and you know it's just so we could make the shower actually square because with this curved wall it just wasn't going to work so I left this little gap in this wall open and you could get back in here and still have room to go ahead and put in a permanent shower fixture on this wall and what I would do with it is I would I would get uh, they sell these portable um, propane powered water heaters on Amazon for about 115 bucks or so and you know you would basically mount it to the wall here you'd run a propane line right out the front here to where the tank is and then you could use the the electric pump under there and just add another um, hose to that pump and you could have a, you know a, a permanent shower fixture so that's kind of up to the end user whether or not that's really important to them uh, the other thing that is not really complete in here is there's no there's no permanent uh, sleeping area. There's no bed. And I didn't do that because depending on how many people you want to have sleep in here, the, you know, your needs for, for a bed are going to be completely different than mine. So my idea was to, was to do a folding Murphy bed that would fold up against the wall and just stow out of the way and just make it for two people. But right now I'm just using an air mattress. I've taken it camping a couple times and we blow up a, an air mattress right there and it works pretty well. So I, I am going to be listing this unit for sale. It's going to be on uh, Phoenix Craigslist. That's where it's located. So if you live in the Southwest and you're interested, please contact me. I'll leave my email in the description. Um, but you know, I, I'd love to hear from people. You know, what do, what do you think something like this is worth? Because it's kind of difficult to price it. Um, you got to take into account, you know, just how much does the trailer itself cost? These trailers. Brand new, these trailers are twenty five hundred, three grand. Um, you know, I got this one a little bit cheaper. I got it used, but um, you got a lot of money going down on the trailer, and then the build out is pretty expensive for all the uh, all the supplies. Uh, the solar, the solar was was probably the most the priciest part of it, and then also you get you know you got a lot of a lot of man hours into this thing, and a lot of work, a lot of hard work. So I'd love to hear what, you know, what people think that it's worth. I'd love to hear, you know, what you guys like about it. Um, you know, what, what I could have done better. What, you know, what ideas would you put into it? And just, you know, just general people's thoughts. I've seen some really cool uh, builds that other people have done on YouTube with, with cargo trailers and also Sprinter vans. So this was a really fun project and I really enjoyed doing it. And I'd like to build some more in the future. Um, so yeah, please uh, comment or contact me and let me know what you think. Thanks, bye.